How are we doing, everyone? Sam United People's TV outside St Mary's after a one-all draw there with Southampton. What's your overall feeling from that game? Let me know in the comments below. For me, I would say it's a bit of disappointment. No, definitely a bit of disappointment. I didn't see Sancho in the starting 11. I didn't see Varane in the starting 11. Solskjaer said that both were fit to start, but none of them did start. And Manchester United, all I want to talk about really is how poor we played to concede that goal that we can set. We, we, we were crap at playing out from the back with the ball last year. And the reason we conceded that goal again was because we were so bad at playing out from the back with the ball. It's a simple thing to do. I don't understand why Manchester United keep repeating the same problems. It's frustrating as hell because, uh, you know, you sort of, you, you invite that sort of pressure on yourself. I wanted to see Varane start the game today because I wanted to see Manchester United, A, be more comfortable passing the ball out from the back. That's, that's a big reason why Varane is such a good signing. And today you saw it there with the goal that we conceded that that's a big reason we need Varane in that team. And we need Sancho starting in that game. Manchester United, I don't know what the fuck that person's doing behind me, by the way. Um, I, I, want, I want to say quickly, by the way, it took, we arrived, me and everyone, we arrived here at the stadium a good half an hour before the match started, but it took us, what, 20 minutes to get into the stadium? The turnstiles were ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. I don't know what the fuck they were doing. Uh, it was quite shocking, really, and I'm surprised it didn't kind of turn into something a little bit worse than, than what it was. It was a bit, um, it was on the verge of a crush, but luckily no one really uh, pushed that hard. But it could have been a lot worse. It was a bit of a shambles, really, from being completely honest. And um, United had like a good a good 20 minute period in that second half where we were completely on, we were completely on top of that game completely on top of it and we didn't turn it into a goal and you all know how it happens in football if you don't uh, make the most of the time if you, if you don't if you don't make the most of you don't make the most of um when you're on top you won't do it you won't do it right i would say that you know over the course of the 90 minutes uh united were probably fair for the draw southampton were fair for the draw i don't think we did enough in that game I really wanted us to see, just to, I don't know, see us do a little bit more. And I don't, you know, I'm not very good at these. Uh, <laughs> I'm not very good at these match reactions when I go to the game because I, it was cracking being back in the away end. I really enjoyed it. Uh, apart from, the, as, as I said, the shambles that this stadium was. Letting people in, it was dangerous. A couple of lads fell down the stairs when Greenwood got the equaliser. At least we had that moment. But Manchester United there, I think we could have done more. When we were on top there in that second half for a good 25 minutes, uh, we were dominant, but we didn't turn it into clear-cut chances. And you all know what happens in football when you don't make the most of when you're on top, you're not going to win the game. Ultimately, United keep their unbeaten away record, which doesn't really count for anything, if I'm being completely honest. It's a nice record to have, but uh, trophies are what matters. And let's see what happens next. You know, but, uh, 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 after we beat Leeds 5-1, I suppose that was a, a bit of a disappointment, really, because everybody hoped and wanted to see that sort of continue and go into the next game, but it wasn't to be. Greenwood got a goal continues his excellent start to the season. Matic, you know what I think about Matic. I don't think he's good enough in midfield. Our midfield was, it just kind of passed us by today. Matomene came on towards the end. That ball that Matomene put in, by the way, right across the six yard box, why was nobody there? Why was nobody there? I have absolutely no idea whatsoever. Manchester United there, as I said, we didn't do enough, I don't think. We had that 20 minute period where we were completely on top, but we didn't turn it into a goal. And therefore you're not gonna win football matches when you do that. It is as simple as that. I think Solskjaer will be slightly disappointed. I'm pretty disappointed, but you know, first two games of the season, we beat Leeds 5-1, we drew away at Southampton. We've just got to try and keep building momentum. Today, I don't think we've really built too much momentum. I think it was a quite, la quite large parts of that game were, poor is the wrong word, but sort of, I don't know, tentative. Tentative is how I would describe United play quite a bit of that game. But when we got on top, we were looking great. It's just that we couldn't carve those final chances, which is, you know, that was an issue that plagued us last season. Not as bad as the issue of playing it out from the goddamn back, though. Get Varane in that starting 11 for Wolves next week. Get Sancho in that starting 11 for Wolves next week. I want to see our best 11 playing out there. If Varane and Sancho are ready to start, start them. Simple as that, Solskjaer. What's your reaction to that match? Let me know in the comments below. Is it two points dropped? Nah, I think, uh, I suppose it is, but... We didn't make the most of our chances when we were on top. Simple as that. So we didn't deserve the three points. Let me know what you think about that in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to United People's TV if you're new. And I will see you on Monday for the live stream. Take it easy.